There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking insane. All right. Also, if you need to grind uh, like shiny things, you could always go back to uh, Sand Mountain. Is it Sand Mountain? I know there's a place in Gulagoon you can do it too. Yeah, I mean, Sam Mountain had that one had that one setup where I fucking bowling balled them and they gave me like 200 shiny objects. You know what I'll do instead? I won't get this this thing here. You're just gonna wait until later. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until later. I'm gonna well, I'm not gonna like maybe yeah maybe I'll come back when um I have enough shiny objects. But for now, oh, I don't need I need shiny objects to like everything in this map though, right? Yeah, that's kind of the issue with like the later on levels is there's a lot of shiny objects required. It's such a until weird you do exit. like. Kelp Forest or Flying Dutchman, which both of those fucking levels suck bad. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of them. I think they're a really bad way. I mean, they're they're difficult levels or whatever, but I think they're a really bad way to end the uh, end the levels in this game. I would agree. We've talked about it. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Oh my god, I fucking rock. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah, in and the party, and I just want to rock. If you rock, I roll. That's true, actually. <laughs> Go back to our Dragon Ball Z Sagas episode where we talk about rocking and rolling. Yeah, another shout out. Remember Which, Red? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be an actual shirt that we do. It's it's too good. That would be a good shirt. It's too nonsensical, but it's too good. Um, Did you... um The Squidward you, level. What do you think of the Squidward part? The Squidward part's good. I love the Squidward part. That's like a cool... Oh. It's a cool part. I was going to bring up something, and I can't even remember what it was. I'm upset now. Here's what you can do. Yep. No, no, that, no. Wow. You can you can jump on the fucking like bottom and you start bouncing for some reason. It's really odd. Really? Yep. Yeah. Wait, this put me back like right here? Yeah. That's actually cool. Because you they, fell off the, the ledge, you didn't like die. I thought falling off the ledge brings you back to the last checkpoint, no? Nah, bro. I I think it does. I think you're bugging. But I think there's a checkpoint like every single thing that you do because they know this part is kinda hard. That there's a possibility. Squid weird. This this level was definitely not looked upon fondly when I was a child. Yeah, I, I, I think that people actually don't like this part because they think it's like hard or whatever. But me, I'm the ultimate gamer, so I actually never make a mistake and I never really? die. Really? You sure yeah. about that? Yep. Bet money on it. Ooh. I won't, I won't die. Ah, ah. Ah. <laughs> Look out! Don't scare me like that, oh, bro. Oh, me when I clip the fucking mic because I scream. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you're team. Good. You're good. You're good. It actually doesn't fuck it up that bad most of the time. If you just barely clip it, it's it's not too bad. Okay, that's good. Hashtags in my game? Oh my god. Hashtags. <laughs> Don't think that's what they're called, music guy. <laughs> Mr. Vocal Lessons over here calls them yeah. hashtags. Yeah, I'm, I just call it like I see it. Because I call it like I see it with my glasses on. Hey. But most of y'all don't get the picture less the flash is on. Oh, speaking of, you know what's out now? What's that? Mega Man. Mega Man, out January 7th. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man. I was never book smart, I'm money, was money smart. smart. Makes me more, more intelligent. intelligent. Call me Mr. Rock Festival. I got I'm hella bands. bands. Shorty Q and her circle too. Tell her bring a friend. <laughs> okay. You know, that song is actually kind of good. And also, <laughs> I think it's like out now. Like, I think it's unironically out now. What the fuck? Where was it leading me to? You fucked up, dude. I did fuck up. I said I would, but I went pretty long you without fucking up. said he was never going to die, chat. I went pretty long. Sorry, chat. I went pretty long without fucking up, though. I'll be honest with you. Oh, yeah, you did well. But now, it's all, yeah, it's all, it's nothing row, but dude. down from here. Nothing but downhill. All right. Huh. I don't know like, if you saw it, but SpongeBob was like sucking his dick for like one frame. Hello. I don't know. Oh, it falls. Yep. Oh. I was going to say, by the way, thanks for the uh, coaster. I got you, bro. Well, yeah. I did it for me more than anything else. You got, well, you still, got, your, you got your, a, your water on my desk. Yeah, I got a big water cup on his desk. Water. You call it water or water? It's water. Okay. Water is like a a dialect of those that, that, that live around us. And, yeah. Uh, it is not the correct enunciation. Yeah. And, like, I pronounce enough things wrong in my life as it stands. I don't need to pronounce more things wrong. True. Like, for the longest time, I used to call it, you know, um, the epitome. You know, water, I used to call it water. <laughs> you know, <laughs> shut up. You know, uh, like, ep epitome. Spongebob laughing at me, too. Yeah, epitome. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would call it. That's what it is. Wait, what did I call it? Epitome. Oh, yeah, that's what I used to call it. Yeah, that's the wrong thing to call it. Well, that's, it looks right. It does. It's it it's spelled that way. It is spelled. It's spelled way. like epitome. I'm sorry. No, it's spelled like epitome. Wait, no, epitome. It's spelled like epitome. How, uh, how the hell both, do you spell like epitome? Both ways say like sound wrong. You know. 
I don't give a fuck about the spikes, bro. I just go You're through a beast, them. bro. I don't even fucking care. Doctor called me. They said I'm morbidly a beast. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's my, one of my favorite fucking jokes, dude. <laughs> f oh, I know. Yeah. The cruise bubble. Is that nice. what they call it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think they might call it the bubble missile. The bubble ball. Bubble missile missile. The ba ba ba. The ba ba ba. I don't like this part. Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't this like a lot of parts of ups, this. Dude. Maybe I don't like a lot of parts of this uh, level. No, you liked like one part. Yeah. Out of like five. I like the Patrick part. You know Patrick's house in this level? Yeah. I like that part. I don't know that part. I forget. Oh, you're going to see it and be like, hee hee. Yeah, I'm going to be like, oh, that makes a lot more sense now. All right. Here's what the... Oh, my God. Is he okay? Dude, here's what you do. Cruise bubble from from where you're like, standing. I, like, I don't know what a cruise bubble from... <laughs> you hear the fucking... Yeah, you got splooged on, dude. <laughs> oh. That's why you can't splooge on him like that. Oh, wait a minute. You can go on that shit. Yeah, you can. I think I can do a little cheeky, like, um... Cheeky cruise bubble strat? Cheeky cruise bubble under the you thing. You probably can. Under the sea. It's probably what it's there for, to be right. frank. Oh! oh. Wait, well, you die immediately. I'm just trying to rotate. I'm just trying to rotate oh, so bad, I can shoot bad, it from the bad. right. Yeah, yeah, I don't mean to be fucking up, but I am. No, no, you're fine. Ah, right, yeah. I just gotta get, like, a little angle like that, you know? I was never book smart, money smart, makes me more intelligent. We love, we love Jay, dude, if Jay-Z went on the show, bro. Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> rank your guests, like, rank your guests, like, characters for this, uh, this, this playthrough. Um, what do like you this, mean? This, like, this Let's Play channel, if we could have, like, oh, 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 guest, guest people guest. appear. Yeah, who would it be? I would actually love to have Ben Schwartz. Um, ben Schwartz would be awesome. I love, I love Ben, love me some Ben Schwartz. I've been following him for a while, like, since before Parks and Rec. Okay. Um, I used to uh, watch a lot of College Humor. He was on College Humor a lot. Here. Um, yeah, he's he rocks, bro. Okay. Anyone else? Um, Jack Black would be very cool. Yeah, I think we talked about this. Yeah, one, yeah, yeah. I can't believe it, dude. Fuck. You know, I've met Ben Schwartz. You met him? I met him. He what? went to um a college event at ah. the college I used to attend. Um, and I met him there. And I asked him some sort of improv-y, like, hypothetical question that he appreciated. Nice, dude. Um, and then that was really cool for me. That was that was one of my, uh, I don't know, it was just a really good day. I went there with some friends, too. That's some awesome. Friends. It, was, it, was, it was just a vibe. Like, And it was it was a free admission thing. Like, it, they, it, they just let us meet fucking Ben Schwartz for free. It was very, you very sick. Here. What? Yep. Me? Yep. Never. Um, no, that's really cool. Yeah. I would go... I don't know. I might go like fucking. Who would be really cool to fucking talk to? Yeah, I think Jack Black, Ben Schwartz, and uh, I don't know who else. I'm. Uh... I'm gonna go Matt Mercer. Oh, I'm a Matt Mercer fan. Yeah, I feel like that would be that would be cool for him to come in. We talked. I don't think we talked about this on the show. Mm -hmm. Um, but we talked about it after the show one night. How I was listening to Critical Role. Yeah, and you brought up Dimension Twenty. Yes, bro. Um, I think my I'm, other I'm a, buddy, I'm a Brennan Lee Mulligan fan. My other buddy recommended them. And, they're they're and very, then, they're like the two biggest D and D podcasts like well, ever. So I, the way you didn't explain it when you when you brought it up to me, yeah, he explained that it's a bunch of mini campaigns, as yes, opposed yes. to like a longer form series. Mm -hmm. And I think I might appreciate that more mm -hmm. because number one, the cast gets to be very diverse in the characters that they make. Yeah, and also, and the like, they, can get, they, they can get a lot more guests because they don't have to commit to, like, a really long campaign or anything like that. Exactly. And that part is very cool. So I might do that. I know they're making another new D&D &D thing called Natural Six. Have you seen this? No. So it's a bunch of UK-based voice actors and actors who are doing um, a D&D &D campaign, and they're actually kickstarting it right now. Four. So it includes, like, like uh, the voice for Geralt. Okay. Um, and the voice of Rivia, you mean, right? Of R Geralt of Rivia, okay, specifically, good, 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 yes, good. Witcher, um, <laughs> as well as uh, Clive no. Rossfield from Final Fantasy 16, Ben Starr, mm. shout out, who does a great job in his role. Um, no, what? And a few Why others. Does that one do that. Um, those are the two voice actors I I know and I read about. The other there's uh four others I think, and they're all very very well. Okay, no, no, to my knowledge, that's very cool. Everyone check out Critical Role. Everyone check out Dimension Twenty. Everyone, I'm not even a big check D &D. out Natural Six on on Kickstarter. Okay, I'm not even like a D and D guy like that, and I really enjoy uh all of those. See, I so I played Baldur's Gate three earlier this year, which we've talked about. Right. And that shit got me on a, a fantasy kick. Bro. Oh, I'm in. I'm in the Patrick. I'm in the Patrick area. Oh, is this it? This is yeah. why you like the dream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nice. Very well, sir. Challenge what is the challenge? Very well. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> this game has really good writing, dude. I'm a fan. I'm really annoyed about it. <laughs> you wish you could write like that? Dude, I'm about to fight in 69! I'm not fucking clever enough for it. It's really annoying. Oh, that you didn't write SpongeBob? That, like, SpongeBob's so well written, is my point. What if you wrote SpongeBob really well and then you played him? Would you be mad? Would, would, you, would people be valid and <laughs> oh be mad at you for God, playing SpongeBob? Oh, my God, he's going on about it. Yeah. <laughs> I love Lynn. I love Lynn. <laughs> I do love Lynn. It's just, it's, it's a little bit disingenuous, I think. He, he remember when he 69. said in the play, when he said, if I, 69, I didn't even freak out. I didn't even care. When he, when he goes, when he goes, when he goes if I could prove that I never meant to play Hamilton and instead <laughs> the guy dropped out at the last second and I, then I played him. He goes, <laughs> Eliza, <laughs> Eliza, won't you 69 me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eliza, George Washington is coming over for dinner. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I remember when that happened. Eliza, Eliza. Fuck that, fuck that spatula. It dude. didn't save it. I have fucking three fucking shiny objects to my name. 